now let's find the perimeter in area of plane figures. First of all, square. Square ke baare mein hume pata hai ki square ki charo sides equal hoti hai. So we have a square over here, jis ki length is L. So for perimeter of square, we will sum all sides. Jis ka matlab hai L plus L plus L plus L. And since these are like terms, we can add them up. So we get 4L. So the perimeter of a square is 4 times length. The area of the square basically means how many number of square units are needed to fill a square. Or in easy words, we can simply find area by multiplying the length of the square with its breadth. Length is L and breadth is also L. So L multiplied by L which is L square. So the area of a square is equal to L square, the square of length. The second shape is rectangle. We know that in rectangle, opposite sides are equal. So here length is L and breadth is B. So perimeter of a rectangle is the sum of all sides, which means L plus B plus L plus B. You can add the like terms. So it becomes 2L plus 2B. And as 2 is common, you can also take 2 as common. So you get 2 times length plus breadth. You may use any of these two forms. Area of rectangle means how many square units are needed to fill a rectangle. And in other words, simply length into breadth. So length is L and breadth is B. So the formula for area of a rectangle is L multiplied by B. The third shape that we will consider is triangle. But here a rectangle is drawn. Is there any relationship between a triangle and a rectangle? Yes. If you cut a rectangle diagonally, you get two triangles. So to find the perimeter of the triangle, you have to add the three sides of a triangle. Consider either this triangle or this one. I am taking this one into consideration. Let's say the length of this diagonal is A. Then the perimeter would be sum of all the sides of this triangle which are A plus B plus L. Area of the triangle means the region occupied inside the boundary of the triangle. So all this portion inside the triangle makes up the area of a triangle. Can you suggest what would be the area of the triangle? Yes, it would be half of the area of a rectangle. So area of triangle is equal to half length into breadth. For triangle, we don't use the words length and breadth. Instead, for length, we use the word base. And for breadth, we use the word height. So area of triangle is equal to half base into height. Now we move to the most interesting shape which is circle. The perimeter of the circle is known as circumference. And by perimeter of the circle, we mean the outer boundary of the circle which is shown with blue color. The distance from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle is known as radius. If we draw a line from one edge of the circle to the other which passes through the center, then that line is known as diameter. And diameter is always double of radius. Or you can say radius is half of diameter. Circles ke baare mein ek bada interesting fact hai. Kisi bhi circle ke circumference ko agar hum diameter se divide kare, to we will always get 3.14. Jisko hum fraction form mein lik sakte hai, 22 over 7. And this ratio, this comparison of circumference to diameter is known as pi. P-I, pi. So circumference of a circle is the distance around the outside of the circle. And from this relationship, we can see that circumference kis ke equal hoga? Diameter yahan divide ho rahe. Dusi side pe ja ke, it will be multiplied. So circumference of a circle is equal to pi into diameter aur agar hum radius ki form mein likhna chahe to hame pata hai ki diameter is equal to twice of radius so we can write it as 2 pi r so circumference of the circle is equal to 2 pi r area of a circle is equal to pi r square how we get it 
Let's see. Suppose we have a circle whose circumference is 2 pi r. Let's draw some circles inside this circle. Radius of blue circle is r. If we cut the circle along the radius, we will have something like this. A pyramid or a triangle. For this triangle, base would be this measurement, which is 2 pi r. And height of this triangle would be equal to radius. We know the formula for area of a triangle is half base into height. So when we substitute 2 pi r in base and radius which is r in height, this 2 and this 2 will cut and what we get is pi r square. So area of a circle is equal to pi r square. The last shape that we will consider today is semicircle. For semicircle, there are two sorts of parameter. If we consider a semicircle without base, just like arc. Hai. So if you have a shape like this, the formula for perimeter or circumference would be half of circumference of a circle. Circumference of circle is pi d. So divided by 2 and we get half pi d. Or in form of radius, Circumference of circle is 2 pi r, divide it by 2 and we get pi r. If the shape is with base or in other words contain a solid diameter line, then we will simply include d in the formula. So we have added plus d. And in radius form, instead of d, we can write 2r. So these are the formulas for circumference of a semicircle with and without base. An area of semicircle can be obtained by simply dividing area of circle by 2. So area of semicircle is half pi r square. So I hope now you have understood how we get these formulas. If these formulas are clear, you are ready to solve the questions involving perimeter and area of plane figures. Happy learning! Mm -hmm.